digitalknowledgebox.com. So this is a follow-up video to the enabling iframes in Joomla video that I previously posted. Uh, in that video, we were able to put this iframe on this page about Harry Potter video. And now what if you wanted to have more than just one iframe? So for example, what if I wanted to have all of these videos on that page as different separate iframes? Well, the thing that you have to be concerned with there is for each one of your iframes, you'll have to assign a different position. Now, as you can see, there's only a certain amount of positions that are available for you to assign. So what you have to do is actually add a series of positions to the code that goes into this module. So this is the file that you're looking for ultimately, and it's going to be called template details .xml. But you have to know where to go to find this. And I'm going to show you how to do that. What you have to do is go into your admin panel and look for the template manager. Click on it. Find the template that is the default and copy the template name. The next thing you have to do is log into your site via FTP and browse to the templates folder. In the templates folder, you'll find a folder name which matches the default template name that we previously copied. Open that folder. In this folder, you will find the template details.xml file. If you don't have a template details.xml file, find the other file that ends in the extension .xml. Chances are this is what you're looking for. Once you've downloaded the file, open it. This code is calling all of the different positions that are available for the module. In order to add a new position, Simply copy one example, and paste a new instance. You'll need to rename each one of your new instance positions. All right, once you've added as many iframes as you will want for your website, save that file and re-upload it to your FTP location. Now browse back to your module manager, create a new wrapper module, give it a name, And now you'll see the new available positions. So to continue this example, I will fill out this new module, put it in the 001 iframe position, grab the new URL, there we go. and save that. The next thing to do is add an article. All right, so then you need to add a new article, give it whatever title you want, add some content, and then this time with the load position, I changed it to 001 iframe to match the module setting. The article page with the new iframe and image. All right, so there you go. You would just have to repeat that process over and over again to make multiple iframes. DigitalKnowledgeBox.com.